Well, a good Sunday to you. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. Time for the tropical update. And once again, here we are in the middle of October thinking maybe we don't have a whole lot to talk about, but we do. I think we're actually going to be seeing the beginning of our next named tropical storm. It's still a little early, I know, to be actually saying that, but just kind of got a feeling about this one that it will go ahead and further develop and get there, but we're a little ways off from that right now, and it doesn't look like it's going to impact us here in Texas, but our friends in the Caribbean certainly need to be paying close attention. I know we've got a lot of viewers of the tropical update here on YouTube that check in with us, so want to make sure that you're aware of what's going on. First of all, that mess that was out in the Atlantic that the Hurricane Center was kind of looking at yesterday, it's no longer a concern, not going to be tropical. We are watching the tropical wave just kind of beginning to enter into the Caribbean right now, and as we watch it closely, the Hurricane Center identifying that it's right on the edge of where it could potentially develop into a system. So remember the red shading here is not an impact area. It's not who needs to be worried about getting hit by something. It's where this could form, where it could develop into a tropical system. So that red shaded area, her National Hurricane Center says a 70% chance that it could develop into a tropical system. And it looks like though it needs a couple more days before it would get there. Notice the next couple of days, only a 30% chance. A couple different things kind of factor factoring into that. One of them is the fact that this tropical wave if you checked in with me yesterday, you noticed it was quite a bit further out into the Atlantic, already beginning to make its way into the Caribbean. It's because it's got a pretty quick movement to it. It's moving anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour, pretty much due west. And the showers and the storms are even getting a little bit more organized with it that are associated with this wave. But there's still no low closed circulation at the surface, no low pressure that's circulating at the surface that's clearly defined. And that's what's really keeping it right now from becoming a tropical system or being a for, by the by the hurricane center labeling as a tropical system. But once it gets a couple more days down the road here, then it does look like it would be in more favorable areas. It's going to slow down a little bit. And these waters that are in the Caribbean are plenty warm enough to support any sort of tropical activity. So some of our computer models here sort of showing it keeps that due west movement and then things get a little bit less clear once we get two or three days down the road. But you'll notice the general trend is that this would start to kind of hook up and start headed north a little bit. Some steering currents are pretty clear that that's going to happen. It's just kind of a matter of when and if this would in fact be a tropical system when those steering currents sort of start pulling it to the north a little bit. Here are those water temperatures that was I was talking about basically 86 to 87 degrees when it gets to the area that we think the formation will sort of start happening. So let's look at one of the models specifically. This is the GFS or sometimes we refer to the American model. And again, it's very hard to pick up anything right now. This again is where we're talking about the tropical wave. And as you'll notice, we go through time kind of following the storms here. This is where the wave would be at when we get into Wednesday. And then I think this is when it really begins to blossom. Watch what happens on our model here. You see the quick, quick, quick formation of a closed low. Then it gets caught up in those steering currents, begins to take a little bit more of a northerly track, maybe even a northeasterly track, but very well defined as a tropical cyclone. And again, I think this is where I, it, I'm confident or I'm feeling positive that this would be our next name storm. For you folks in the Caribbean who are watching, this is what we need to be concerned with and watch several days down the line. And then, of course, when you get further than five days, there's a whole lot of questions to still be dealing with. But it looks like this system will still be trying to hang on. Once it starts interacting with land, though, we always know things become a little bit more difficult for it to hold itself together. And that's basically what we're seeing here once we get past Wednesday after that, or really even more into Thursday when we get that formation. So this is October. It's not unheard of that we have tropical activity here. You'll notice that we kind of have this little plateau of when we get to the middle of October. But then when once we start getting past, you know, the 15th, 16th, and we start getting into the 20s, the October 20th or later, things really begin to drop off historically speaking, but it just seems like as of late, 
we've taken these trends and have shifted them further down into the year. That's certainly been the, 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 the common trend as of last year and this year uh, with activity still happening. So as far as the names go, we've got Melissa next on the list. So that would be at least what I think right now, that tropical wave what the Hurricane Center is identifying as Invest 98L. I think that will eventually become Melissa, but we still have to let this unfold and see what happens. Just kind of giving you my opinion on things on how it looks right now with, with the, the forecasting and the modeling and kind of what is sort of laid out. As I mentioned, there is folks on YouTube throughout the world that watches this update. I'm glad you're here. Feel free to leave me a comment if you'd like to kind of let me know where you are and and uh, when you're able to kind of check in and look. I know the folks here in the in the in the US are watching on Fox 26 Houston.com as well as the Fox local app. Glad you're checking in. Continue to check in. We'll be here for the rest of hurricane season all the way through November.